Hey there, this is Lee back with another video and in this video I want to share how I am doing my Etsy market research. In particular I show you how to use Etsy to find products and how I'm using Allura for research. This is the second of a series of videos where I'm launching my Etsy store and products from scratch. So if you didn't see the last video there's a link above to the first video in this series if you want to go and watch that. So if you're new here, my name is Lee and I like to create videos like this on how to create digital products to sell online. So make sure you click subscribe and click the bell icon above. So without further delay, let's get into the video. So the first way that I'm doing my Etsy research is to use Etsy's very own search bar and search results. So Etsy, just like Amazon and Google, has its own search engine. And by typing into the search bar, Etsy is giving us a good idea of what customers are searching for on the Etsy platform. So I want to show you what I'm currently doing in my market research process on Etsy, just within Etsy itself without using any other tools. I am going to show you another tool that I'm using in a minute. When Etsy is showing some search phrases, I'm then clicking onto one of the phrases. So this one is Canva real estate templates. And then what I'm doing is finding one with a lot of sales. So let's find this one here it's got 222 sales and then what I'm doing is looking and seeing if it's recently had a sale so this one it's the 2nd of July 2020 today and this is saying that they had a sale on the 1st of July they had another one on the 20th of June 2020 and we can see that they've recently be set, been selling this product so customers have been buying this product and I find that is really helpful so we know that this is an in-demand product. So those are the things I'm doing within Etsy uh, to research products. And then again, I'm doing this around Canva templates because this is what I want to sell on Etsy. This is what I'm gonna be creating. So now I wanna show you what I'm doing in addition to just doing research on Etsy, what tool I'm using to do more in-depth research. So obviously we now know that Canva templates and Canva real estate templates are in demand and that sellers are selling them but now of course I don't know about you but I want to know how many are they se selling and how much are they making and so the way to find that out is I am using the Allura extension I'm using a paid plan uh, this is a Google Chrome extension this is going to show me all the different products that are on this page that are on Etsy and it is telling us how much they're selling for how many times they've been favorited, how many sales they've had, and how much revenue they've generated. And by simply clicking the arrows next to sales, we can see which product uh, is selling the most. So this one has sold 52 sales in the last 30 days, and it's generated 944 pounds just from one product. And I, I think that's pretty good. I mean, imagine if you could have a number of products like that selling i don't know between 500 to a thousand pounds that that would be great as digital downloads that's my goal that's my aim that's what i'm aiming for so one final thing i want to show you with the allura extension that we can find out about a particular product and how it's selling is if we click onto a product and go to the page and again we can see that this product has had some sales if i click on the Allura extension again in Chrome it will give me information on this particular product so again it's telling me that it's had nine sales now I contacted Allura and asked them how often their data is calculated through and it they said that all the data is of the last 30 days so this is showing us that this product has sold nine sales in the last 30 days it's also telling us that it's generated 101 in revenue been favorited 76 times it also tells us uh, the particular keywords and the tags and useful information like that. So that is just another helpful thing that this tool will do in order to help us go more in depth and find out which products to sell on Etsy. So that's about it for this Etsy market research video. I hope you found it interesting. I may do other Etsy research videos in the future as I find out new things and discover new ways to find which products are selling and which products to target. I probably will be looking at doing a course. If you've got any suggestions on courses or on how to do Etsy research, then please feel free 
to post below if there's tools that you think I should be using please comment below let me know and make sure you subscribe if you haven't done so already hit the bell notification as I'm going to be doing more videos like this on starting on selling on Etsy selling digital products on Etsy and I'll see you in a future video cheers